Hi Kenneth, this is Coach Smart from ABC Baseball Camps. I'm here to do your hitting evaluation, so let's get started. Watch a couple swings here. Okay, so let's talk about your setup, okay? First thing we do is talk about our setup. Always start with our feet. Okay, so I like what you do there from a standpoint of of your feet are parallel which is good and it's wide enough that you're you know a little bit farther than shoulder width apart which is also where we want you um, okay so let's click forward a little bit and see what you do there okay so one thing I noticed right away uh, Kenneth is your top hand it looks like you have you your little knuckles lined up with your big knuckles of your bottom hand and that's that's no good that keeps keeps the bat in the kind of the palm of our hand and we want it in the fingertips of our hand okay it gives us a chance to use our small muscles rather than our our big muscles okay and we want to see those hands work okay so let's see what happens here as we so you stride forward, your hands go back a little bit. Okay. Okay, so one thing for sure, Kenneth, is you gotta get your foot down earlier. Okay. I'm not a big uh, a big proponent of guys that land on their toe. Because eventually that 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 heel's got to go to the ground, correct? You're not going to hit with one toe like that. So your your heel's going to go to the ground, and when that happens, your eyes going to go down with it. So now you got a ball coming at you this way, and then you know somewhere, you know, ten to fifteen feet out in front of home plate, you know your your head's going to bounce as your heel goes down. And you're gonna lower yourself down more. Okay, so I'm a guy who likes to have guys stride to their foot, like they're stepping on a baby eggshell, but they're they're striding to their whole foot, and not just their not just their toe. Okay. Um, okay, so let's check out swing plane. Okay, so I don't have too many too many issues there at all. That looks pretty good. I like that right arm right against your body. Your hands are inside the baseball. Um, this position at contact is is pretty much textbook. Okay, you've got a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a a bend in this arm, which I'm not that fond of, but that probably has to, has to do a lot with your grip. Okay, with that grip being little knuckle to little knuckle, um, or excuse me, little knuckle to big knuckle, that's kind of a that's what kind of happens to guys when they do have that grip. They get a little bit of a bowed front arm, so you can fix that by just fixing your grip a little bit. Okay, so that's a that's a really good position there from the standpoint of your lower half except for your front foot okay Kenneth if you want to hit the ball harder and farther then that foot's got to get closed because at this point buddy now your front hip is already blown out of it's blown out you know you don't want to have that front hip blown out and you lose the ability, you're a big kid, you lose the ability to create what we call resistance. You driving this knee down to the inside of that foot, okay, is creating energy. But because your foot's open, it's being flushed out the front end of your swing. You gotta capture that that energy between your legs between your backside and your front side okay so that foot um, it's got to be like this it's got to be like it was 
there at setup. So when your stride foot lands, and that's another reason why I don't like guys going to toe because guys going to toe have a tougher time feeling that swing on the inside of that front foot. Guys have a tendency to have that foot wanting to spin open or to roll over because of the pressure you're putting on it with your backside. So, like I said before, having that foot open causes a bunch and bunch of different issues. Okay, so let's go to contact again. Okay, so I have no idea where this pitch is at, this soft toss pitch where it's at, Kenneth. But with the with the approach you're taking to hitting, the pitches you're going to be the most successful with are going to be middle and middle in. The pitches that you're going to really, really struggle with are middle away. Okay? I'm going to show you where I want you to be at contact with your belt buckle and your chest. Where most major leaguers, professional guys, are going to be at, at contact. Right there. Their belt buckle of their pants are going to be facing the second baseman. Okay, at contact. At contact, it's going to be facing the second baseman. Well, you at contact have it facing, you know, second base, pitcher, or maybe even a shortstop a little bit. Okay, so. It's imperative that you start using your hands more to hit with. Okay, you got some pretty good hands, but you want to use your upper body to create bat speed and power instead of using your hands for speed and your lower half for power. Okay, you just can't hit a ball in the outside half with consistency and with, with a little bit of juice when you over rotate that body and your front hip is you know facing the pitcher remember Kenneth we gotta rotate our hip our back hip against our front hip both hips don't go flying out you rotate your back hip against your front hip that's where we should make contact right there if you can get to that position with the closed front side, you'd have yourself a pretty darn good swing, buddy. But we got to get you there. That's a that's a tough thing to change. Uh, I'm going to send along with your eval, Kenneth, a couple of links to a couple of YouTube videos that we did for you to help with your over rotating that upper body. Okay. One's called dead legs. One called split. Okay, do those drills with some real, real dedication to feeling your hands work instead of your upper body. Okay, and I think those two drills will go a long way to helping you get to a, a better spot at the point of contact. Now that front foot issue, buddy, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. One thing I do with guys like you that do that is I have them almost get pigeon toed point their toe this way a little bit at a dress so when it lands it doesn't spin as much but you spin that front foot is open up your front hip and when that front hip comes open the chance of staying on a ball in the outer half gets smaller and smaller okay okay buddy um, have a great spring have a great summer look forward to seeing you at the next ABC base baseball camp. So long.